This video is from a pattern about a book that I co-authored with Joe Nihal, uh, The Habit of a Happy Life. And you can find information about that book on positiveaddictions.com. The pattern is, of course you can. Of course you can is a pattern that you can do by yourself. And it's a pattern of organizing yourself so that you can accomplish the task. It's a form of readiness. Now, if you're going to do a task, you might want to get into a readiness state. For example, if you were going to shoot a basketball, you might take some warm-ups before you shoot the basketball. You might take a practice shot before you wanted to take a golf shot. So in sports, we often have readiness states. Now, if you want to accomplish something, getting into a readiness state can be valuable. And the pattern of, of course you can, can be something that you use. To do, a, of course you can, you could do this with five or six, seven sheets of paper, each one of them uh, with a different orientation. So let's say what you wanted to do was to stop smoking or stop overeating. One of the things that you can do is, of course you can, suspending all reservations, suspending all difficulties, how do you know that you can accomplish the task? Of course I can be a non-smoker because, and then list five things. Now normally when I do this with people, the first five things that they list is facts and motivations. So then I separate that out. And the second assignment would be, of course I can, level one, facts. Of course I can stop uh, overeating because I can read a book about that, because I can talk to people about that. Things that you know in the real world and you list five, ten facts. Then level two. Level two could be the level of motivations. Of course I can because it's important, a general motivation, because it's for my health. And you list five or ten motivations. Then level three, we're going to change the stimulus sentence a little bit. I know that I can have successful relationships, stop procrastinating, because I am, and then list some of your desirable characteristics. I'm trustworthy, loyal, helpful, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, friendly, brave, clean, reverent. Of course I can. And once you have listed your desirable characteristics, we could go on to level four. And level four would be, again, changing the stimulus sentence just a little bit. I know that I can get to places on time because I have done difficult things before. And then you could list some of the things that you've done that are difficult before. Some of the things you've done, which could be uh, climbing a mountain or getting a degree or having a child, list some of the difficult things that you have done. And then that could get us to level five I know that I can because I have access to these social resources. Friends, family, people who can encourage you, people who can be cheerleaders, people who can help you. And that could get you to level six. And level six, I know that I can because I have contextual resources. And what are the contexts that you could be in in which that you could uh, accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish? And that could even get you to level seven. My friends know I can. It could get you to level eight. God knows that I can. So there's no real, no real limit. But let's say that we got to level six. I know that I can. Think about what you have just done. I know I can because you have organized facts. You've organized motivations. You've organized historical resources. You've organized personal resources. You've organized social resources. And you've organized contextual resources. Now, just doing that and nothing else could be instrumental in you accomplishing the tasks that you have. But then once you have your lists, I know I can, there's a way in which you can put those lists together. You can do something significant, something symbolic with those lists fold them together, hold them tight, carry them with you, and know that with your resources joined together, you can accomplish the task that you've set out for yourself. So this is Jeff Zeig in Boston with another five-minute tip for therapists. Thank you very much.